Dear students, today we are going to discuss about positive clipper circuit. In the case of positive clipper, what we need is we require an input source and for that we are using a function generator to get the input of V in equal to 10 volt peak to peak and we are taking 1 kilohertz frequency and we need a resistor and the resistance value used is 3.3 kilo ohm. Okay, let us write R equal to 3.3 kilo ohm. And the diode is silicon diode 1 and 4001 diode. So, it should this circuit will clip the positive part of the sine wave. Okay, for that, first we can set this circuit in the breadboard and we have to give this input. Okay, first of all, what we need is a resistor of 3.3 kilo ohm and a diode of 1 and 4001. And the connection is that a positive part is connected to this resistance leg and a negative side is connected to ground. Okay, So, this is the main connection and the input source is connected to the other leg of the resistance and the negative side of uh, negative um, part of this input source is connected to ground. Okay, Let us see the connections in the breadboard you can see here. Here you can see this is the resistance its value is 3.3 kilo ohm. And that value can be obtained by using the color coding scheme and this is the diode and there is a ring in the diode here and this indicates the negative side of the diode. The connection is that a resistance is connected in series with this diode. So, resistance is connected here these two points are different and one of the leg of the diode is connected to the same point of this resistance. So, we are taking at the same point you can see here. And the negative side of the diode is connected to this point and this point is taken as the ground. Okay, So, this is a circuit connection. Now, what we have to do is we have to give the input. Okay, Input is taken from the function generator. See, you can see here. So, first part of this is we have to set a sine wave having 1 kilohertz frequency here. So, you have to select the function. See, you can see here this is the function function switch when you are pressing this different waves you can see here when I am pressing here now it is rectangular wave again pressing now it is DC wave again pressing this is sine wave okay now the frequency is set to 1114 hertz okay you can adjust the frequency by rotating this knob okay so that is the input adjustment and you can also change the amplitude level of this input sine wave by using this amplitude knob okay you can rotate this okay so first of all you have to set the input i have already set the input you can see i have connected the input to the second channel of the cro see you here this is the probe that is used to get the input and second probe will give you the input you can see this is the input and its xy position this is the input you can note that see You can note that the input wave is the input wave having amplitude 1 volt to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, total of 5 divisions. You can see here 5 division correspond to 1 division corresponds to 2 volt. So, 5 division correspond to 10 volt. Now, it is 10 volt peak to peak. Okay. Next time period is you can see here it is adjust to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 millisecond and in this case let us see. The sine wave starts from here and this is the complete sine wave. So, it will take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions. So, 5 into 0.2 is equal to 1 millisecond. So, 1 millisecond sine wave with 10 volt peak to peak voltage. So, that is 1 kilohertz sine wave. So, now by using this function generator, we have set the input voltage. So, we have to give the input voltage to this point. So, the connection is the input voltage is coming from this probe and the probe is connected to positive part of the probe is connected to resistance lag here negative part is connected to this ground point ok here is the ground point so negative part is connected to this ground point to seeing the input we can use uh, to see the input here we are giving the input to um, from the function generator to the circuit to see the input on this here we can again connect the channel 2 
prob of this CRO to the same point that is the connection shown here here also there is another connection ok. So, the, uh, these are the connections and now where we are taking the output we are taking the output from across this diode ok. This is the diode. So, positive of the probe is connected to uh, connected to this point and negative side is connected to this point. So, we are seeing the output on the CRO by using the channel 1. So, probe will be connected here and it will be connected to probe of the output is connected to the diode leg and here you can see the connection this is the diode leg one point this is connected to the anode and the ground point is connected to the cathode. So, this is the probe connection you can see this probe ok this is positive and this is negative actually positive is red in color negative is black in color ok. Next let us see for seeing the output whenever we connected uh, all these components and we have given the correct input we will obtain the output like this that means input wave is this one and this is the output you can see this is the output ok. You can see here that this is the output waveform and you can see that a positive part of that output waveform is absent there that means it is clipped due to this circuit ok. So, you can no, let us note that this is the circuit this is the ground of the input input wave you can see that what is the magnitude of this input one this output ok you can see here that it is positive part is clipped now output and input are super superimposed and the output waveform will have positive cycle clipped at the point you can notice that this is total of 1 now it is clipped below second mini division that means its value will be less than 0.8 that means 0.7 so it is clipped at the point 0.7 for some silicon diode it will be 0 0.7 for something it will be 0 0.6. So, you can draw the waveform like this that means the input and output out, output will be if this is the input then output will be this is this is 5 volt and this is minus 5 volt and the input is clipped at a 0 0.7 volt 0 0.7 volt ok. So, like the way you can draw the output wave from here x axis is time y axis is v in this is v out ok. So, this is the expected waveform actually this is the waveform you are obtaining and it is this is point of up to this point this is 0.5 millisecond up to this this is 1 millisecond ok up to this this is 0.5 millisecond this is 1 millisecond. So, now this positive part is clipped like the way you can do the negative clipper also and for getting the negative side clipped we have to reverse the connection of this diode let us do before doing the negative clipper let us see the transfer characteristics corresponding to this positive clipper let us see for getting the transfer characteristics first what we have to do is we have to press x y and we have to press the ground and then we have to relocate this dot to central point for that we are using this key. Now, it is at the central point you can see at the, at the on the CRO then we can release the ground. So, actually it is a sine wave. Let us see. So, we have to release the mono button in order to see the output. So, now you can see that actually transfer curve is the characteristics between V input and V output x axis is V in y axis is V out. This is positive side and this is negative side that means negative side we are obtaining the negative side completely that means this is a sine wave. So, for the input increase in the uh, input voltage there will be increase in the output voltage for the case of negative side, but you can see here that for the increase in the input voltage the output voltage is constant at this point that is this voltage is at 0 0.6 after that the output voltage is constant what is its meaning that means output voltage is clipped off there is no output voltage after this 
point okay so output voltage is clipped off this is a positive clipper transfer characteristics now let us do the negative clipper you can see the circuit diagram which is shown in here what is the difference between this positive and negative clipper and the diode is is in reverse connection in the case of negative clipper also here is the input voltage is 10 volt peak to peak and its frequency is 1 kilohertz resistance is 3.3 .3 kilo ohm and the diode is same as 1 and 4001 okay so its cut in voltage is 0.6 volt or 0.7 volt and there is a ground connection okay so let us see let us do the circuit in the breadboard you can see here that here also resistance is connected and diode will be there you can see here this is diode and here the diode actually the diode positive and a negative is identified by using a ring in the negative side there will be a ring in the case of silicon diode 1 and 4001 there is a ring actually it is not clear in this video now you can see here that there is a ring so negative side is here there is a ring and that is connected to the one of the leg of this resistance so these two are this these are connected at the same point and next leg is connected to the ground point this is the ground this is taken as a ground point and the resistance other leg is connected to the input source voltage so these two props are for uh, taking the source connections from the function generator and one is for seeing the output on the CRO and other probe negative props are connected to the ground itself okay also output is taken across the diode so positive of the probe is connected to um, diode negative terminal that is uh, ring terminal and the uh, negative of this probe is connected to the ground point okay so now on the CRO uh, the input connection input setting is same that is sine wave is selected and its frequency is um, set by using this knob and amplitude is set by using this knob okay and we can see the output waveform on the CRO like this let us see now the input is you can see the input and the output let us see this is the output actually it is not stable you can see here now you can see the output here so we can superimpose this too you can see that positive side of the sine wave is obtained here and but negative part of this output is clipped off you can see a line here okay so let us see this is a this is the ground point actually this is the ground point and the negative side clipped at this point that is at the voltage of 0.6 or 0.7 volt the negative part of this waveform is clipped okay now let us do So now let us take the reading before taking the reading you should notice one thing that you should press the DC button of the CRO then only you will get the correct reading at which point or where this uh, sine wave is clipped off. Now uh, this DC pr uh, is pressed you can see this is uh, the pressing position is this one and otherwise uh, if it is not pressed it will be in the AC mode so you should press DC and take the reading. So this is clipped at the point you can notice here that this is a small uh, this is touching at the small division that is at the point 2 above point 2 its value is above point 2 so now here the one for one division it is point 5 so it will be nearly one division is so now to take the reading let us see this is this is the output waveform and this is the part where we are clipping this um, the waveform and it is connected to this uh, channel and its one division value is you can see its one division value is 2 volt so here this clipped point is touching the um, in between point 2 and point 4 of the small division so we can uh, multiply this point let us take it as 0 0.3 0 0.3 into 2 that is equal to 0.6 volt will be this one uh, okay so this is clipped at this point 0 0.6 volt that means this completed division will have a value 2 and each of this mini division will have a value 0.2 so to take the value 0 0.2 into 2 will be taken or 0 0.3 into 2 will be taken so it is clipped at the point 0 0.6 volt okay
So negative cycle is clipped at the point, point is 6 volt and positive cycle is, we are getting the positive cycle completely, you can see here that, here if you are pressing the ground, both of the signal will have the same ground. So you can exactly see that the positive cycle is obtained here and negative cycle is clipped off, okay. So this is the way we are doing negative clipper, Let in order to see the transfer characteristics of this negative clipper, let us press uh, let us see xy, let us press xy, before that uh, we have to press the ground of each one and we have to set uh, this dot point to the central position, then we have to, uh, then we have to, sorry, this is actually the sine wave. So for getting the transfer curve, what we have to do is we have to adjust this dot point to the central point. For that we have to press x, y, then we have to press ground, then we have to adjust this dot point by using this knob and then we can release the ground. So this is the transfer curve that you are obtaining and here this is the y axis is output voltage and x axis is input voltage for the positive cycle corresponding to the input voltage, output voltage is increasing. That means we are obtaining the complete sign cycle for the positive cycle. But in the negative side, you can see here that a part of the negative part is not obtained. That means the after a point, the output voltage is constant. That means above this point, the output voltage is clipped off. That is for the negative cycle, the negative part is clipped off after a particular point. Okay. So this is the transfer curve and we can draw it in, in the output waveform section like this. You can see here that this is the input and this is the output. You can mark this point, this clipping voltage as 0 0.6. You can mark it as 0 0.6, 0 0.6 voltage and time period is 1 millisecond and this voltage is 5 volt. Okay. And for the transfer curve also this is, this voltage is 0 0.6 volt. So this is 0.6 voltage and what is this voltage? This voltage is 5 volt, okay. This is the V in corresponding to this is 5 volt, okay. V in corresponding to the maximum point is 5 volt.